You're live. Hi, um, this is Angela, the Mushroom Huntress again, and um, this will be a quick episode, um, but I just wanted to show you a giant puff mushroom. The, this was actually one puff mushroom um, that actually a friend of ours gave us, um, but he said he perhaps ran it over with his lawnmower, so it ended up turning into two. Um, they were joined somehow. I think like like this perhaps when we first got it but then um, it fell out of the fridge so now it's two but anyways this is a giant puff mushroom um, as you can see here it is very similar to the stump push muff, puff, stump puff mushroom um, and it can be anywhere from the size of a softball to the size of a watermelon this is the other one they actually interestingly enough look like dough um, and they feel like dough, which is really interesting. But um, as you'll be able to see, if you cut it open, it's edible if it is white on the inside. And just sort of cutting this open, you'll see it's a beautiful white color on the inside. Mmm, smells great. It smells exactly like the stump puff mushroom, of course, which is its smaller counterpart. Um, very fleshy inside. Oops, very much like a marshmallow. And um, this is great. What we're going to do actually is to deep fry it in um, and batter it. Um, so it'll be an awesome, huge uh, deep fried battered mushroom. But anyways, um, these are typically found at the edge of a forest um, in a more of a meadow part. And... Um, you'll see it sort of perking out of the grass um, in just one huge clump. And like I said, it can get um, as big as a watermelon. Um, but you don't want to eat it if it starts to be yellow inside or brown. And as you can see here, it's starting to get a little yellow-greenish um, on the outside. But that's okay. We'll just trim it off. So anyways, look out for those um, you know, huge, giant puff mushrooms. Um, at the edge of your forests and either fry them up in some olive oil and some garlic or in butter or deep fry them like us and enjoy.